When you tune into Cops at 4.30, moments after touching your stepbrother's drum set and getting your ass beat, you'll soon find yourself grounded from TV for a week and missing a whole ton of information from the series finale the next day. This lapse in judgment might have saved you a lot of hassle from the boys in blue should you find yourself on a high speed chase. Okay, so that may be a little bit of a stretch, but the point we're trying to make here is that those Wish.com LED light strips may not be such a good idea. After all, the color changing strips duct taped to your front bumper is a great way to find yourself on the side of the road with the old cherries and berries in your rear view. I'm Dustin with Custom Offsets. You can find me at Dusty.co on the old Instagram. And today we're gonna be sitting down and going over some of the top things you might not have known that you can get pulled over for. Let's get it. Before we get started though, if you want your truck to exceed lift height regulations, have a wheel and tire package that hangs way out of the wheel well, and have wheel lights that are held on by zip ties, you can find all of that fun stuff at customoffsets.com. We also have like bumpers and rock lights and pretty much everything you need to build your truck. All right, now we'll actually get into it. If you're anything like Biggs, the first thing you do when you get your new truck is, you guessed it, head on over to wish.com and buy enough lights to light up New York's Central Park at midnight. While this may sound like a good idea, you definitely should be pretty cautious as the boys in blue are not always a huge fan of pretty colors, especially, coincidentally enough, red and blue. But more on that later. To kick it off here, we're gonna talk about license plate lights. And by that, we mean the little light that actually lights up every bumper on the road. Most laws state that it must be a bright enough form of either white LED or halogen to illuminate your plates so that way the police can tell whether or not they're expired. We actually polled our YouTube community and asked them what's the most common reason you guys have been pulled over and one of the top most common reasons was due to either license plate lights being burned out or strangely enough, having a cover over your license plate. Listen, I know what you're thinking and before you angrily hammer away at your keyboard and drop a comment down below about how you can still buy plate covers or you have one on your truck and you've never gotten pulled over, I get it, right? I have one too. Let me tell you, you're correct. By no means are we saying that they are illegal, but if you decide to try and cover your tags, be them expired or not, thinking it would be a good enough way to avoid receiving a traffic stop, you're wrong. The general rule of thumb is that if you can visibly see the stickers and license plate number, you shouldn't have any issues. As always though, we do recommend checking with your local law enforcement to ensure that the plate cover that you want is within legal limitations. Changing gears here, let's talk a little bit about lights in general. Now listen, we get it. You just bought 14 wines and what's a better way to show them off than by picking up a brand new set of black label rock lights from customoffsets.com. You get home, you get the box open, you spend the rest of the evening painstakingly running cables through every single nook and cranny you can find. And while it looks great, the boys in blue may disagree just a little bit. Before I completely deflate your tires, t get it? Oh brother, this guy stinks! Hey, hey funny guy, I got a joke for you! What smells rotten and puts people to sleep? Okay, I know it was a cringy joke, but stay with me here. Anyways, here's a few tips to avoid that unwarranted attention that you may not have asked for. Not all wheel lights or underglow are illegal, depending on your city or state. But here in Wisconsin, we usually don't get a lot of slack when it comes to underglow lighting. As a general rule of thumb, the best color to run if you're dead set and absolutely heart's content is to run down the road with your rock lights on is white. Last thing on the list you may not have known you can get pulled over for is actually one that Rainy loves the most. Little tree air fresheners. Yes, you heard it correctly. Those cute little evergreen shaped cardboard pieces hanging from your rear view mirror that smell a lot like your first truck in high school. Believe it or not, it is legal in some states for an officer to issue you a citation for simply having an air freshener hanging from your rear view. This is mostly due to the fact that when you hang 300 of them on your rear view, it can tend to be a bit of a distraction while you're driving. Also, it can quite literally limit visibility. Ask us how we know. Have any interesting or obscure reasons you've been pulled over? Let us know down in the comments section below. And as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel so we can keep making the awesome truck content that you guys come to love from us. We'll see you on the next one.